Making homemade pita bread is quite easy, and let me tell you, it is much tastier than what you find in the supermarket. Wanna see how I make them? Let's do it together. To start this simple pita bread recipe, pour one cup or 235 milliliters of lukewarm water into a mixing bowl. Then add one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of active dry yeast, and give everything a good mix. Then set it aside for five to 10 minutes to let the yeast activate and begin to bubble. Next, add two cups or 250 grams of all-purpose flour and three quarters cup or 100 grams of whole wheat flour and one teaspoon salt and two teaspoons olive oil to the yeast mixture and give everything a good mix until a shaggy dough is formed. Now, sprinkle some flour on your worktop and knead the dough for about six to eight minutes until the dough becomes smooth and elastic. Then shape the dough into a ball. Then brush the bowl with some olive oil so that the dough won't stick and place the dough ball in the bowl. Cover the dough with plastic wrap and let it rise for about two hours or until it has doubled in size. Once the dough has doubled in size, gently punch it down and turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface. Next, roll the dough into a log and cut it into equal sized pieces. For medium sized pita bread, divide it into eight pieces. If you want larger pita bread, divide it into six pieces. Cover the pieces with a kitchen towel. Now, one by one, roll each piece of dough into a smooth ball. Once you've got all your dough balls ready, sprinkle some flour on your work surface. Grab a floured rolling pin and roll all the pieces into a circle about six inches wide and a quarter inch thick. Allow the dough discs to rest for 20 to 30 minutes under a kitchen towel or until they rise and puff up slightly. To bake pitas, warm a skillet over medium high heat. Drizzle with a little oil, then lay a rolled out pita on the skillet. Cook for 30 seconds until bubbles form, then flip and cook for one to two minutes until toasted spots appear. Flip again and toast for another one to two minutes until puffed. If needed, gently press to encourage puffing. These homemade pitas are soft and chewy with a slight outer crunch. They have a mild, slightly sweet flavor, and when fresh, they are warm and so delicious. So much better than store-bought ones. Perfect for wraps or dipping. If you like this easy homemade pita bread recipe, then check out also how to make this deliciously crispy roasted pond bread recipe here. Check it out now.